Mojang has announced that Minecraft's 1.17 update is going to be the mountain update. And today we are covering eight brand new mountain mobs that would be a perfect fit for Minecraft 1.17. From yetis that live in the uppermost areas of the snowy mountains to special snow leopards that you can use to aid you in battle. Maybe you'll get your hands on a rare golden eagle that you can use to see mobs underground. Or maybe you'll even happen across one of the most adorable little creatures, the pikas who can actually help you get this bread. Let's check it out. Number one is the highly requested Yeti mob that we've added to the mountain ranges of Minecraft. We're gonna go ahead and teleport to one of them right now. Yetis will run away from the player and leave tracks in the snow. As you can see right now, these tracks are gonna start appearing right away, instantly. And what's more, you can actually collect the tracks. They're known as mysterious footprints and you can actually use them to decorate in your world. See, the thing is, yetis will only be visible when it is actually snowing on the mountain. So we're going to go ahead and turn the weather to have snow right here. Then look at that. The yeti has appeared. Oh, here it is. Look at him over there. Nasty, nasty, hideous creature. What are you all about? Yo, he's literally... Oh, he just... Oh gosh, oh he heard us again. Now, unlike most yetis that you're familiar with, these yetis will actually run from you. They're not looking to battle under any circumstance. So, you're gonna have to chase them down if you want any chance of getting their special drop. Come here, little yeti. Kitty! That's what it reminds me of, to be honest. Get! I gotta attack him! Attack! Get him! Yo! Okay, I think we're dealing some decent damage to him. <laughs> it's hard to tell. He's got so much fur on him that I can't really make left from right here. Okay. Oh my gosh. He's literally going nuts. <laughs> Get yeah. Took him out. And we got a special drop. No less. And it wasn't the footprints. It was the Yeti stomach. You may have noticed the weather just cleared. That's because you can control weather using a Yeti stomach for some reason. I, I, I ain't looking into it too much. Let's just assume Yetis are magical. Here's how it works. You hold the Yeti stomach in your hand and simply put, when you sneak... The weather will clear. Did, was there just a zombie somewhere nearby? Eh, whatever. Anyways, sneaking with the Yeti stomach in hand will clear the snow of falling from the sky. Now, of course, the moment you right click with the Yeti stomach, you can instantly change the weather back to being a snowy wonderland. Our next potential 1.17 mob is the Cowlin, which is actually a mixture of cows and villagers. Similar to piglins that came out in the nether update, these guys have a very interesting look about them. Hi, little guy. Why, why how come no one likes me? Now, Cowlins are actually capable of trading with you various new objects as well as some existing ones. In this case, we can get our hands on a frozen bow, but before we get that, we're going to need to get our hands on some ice shards, and you can literally get your hands on them, because now ice drops ice shards used for trading. When you punch it with your fist, you'll no longer get a block. Well, really, when you punch ice with your fist, you didn't normally get anything, but now you can get ice shards for your trouble instead. So we're going to collect a couple of these so that we can make some interesting trades with these rare mountain creatures. Hey, stupid. I'm gonna trade you literally worthless ice. Oh, I need a bow. <laughs> okay, bow plus ice shards. Frozen bow. Great movie, by the way. You can also get something known as a nitrogen bucket if you bring the cow in an empty bucket as well as some ice shards. So we'll get our hands on that as well. And I guess if you traded ice and wheat, you get some bread. Yeah, it makes sense. Thank you for your kind services, Mr. Cowlin. Seriously, what? What it, oh, <laughs> an interesting creature indeed. Whoa. Hi. <laughs> okay, but the items. So the frozen bow can actually freeze nearby entities in place. You have to kind of fire nearby them in order for the effect to take place. But as you can see here, this mob is completely, and by completely, I mean mostly, obscured and covered in ice. So maybe the creeper can face, yep, that same fit. Hey, stupid. <laughs> what are you, the worst? Break? What, you suck? Ah, I think he's going to drown. Now the other drop, the nitrogen bucket, is essentially like lava, but it's cold. And you can place it down in various different spots, and just like that, the nitrogen is now flowing across. You know, they're still frozen over there. And it will deal damage to you if you happen to get stuck in it. So, oh my gosh, all right, I get it, I get it, I get it. Ooh, the dry ice was killing me. Yeah, literally. Good thing I got this bread. 1.17 mountain mob number three is actually a confirmed one. Mountain goats, like a mix between a cow and a sheep. Goats can give you both milk and wool. We're gonna spawn one in right now. Remember this guy? We've actually done a video on him in the past when we were originally seeing this guy being announced. Now goats are capable of giving you both milk as well as wool. Yo, that guy just ate a piece of crap. 
That's awesome. You can, of course, shear these guys using shears, and it'll literally shear them, and then they won't have any more wool. And Whoa. Yo, he's going nuts. Mad with power. Holy moly. Are you wearing a bow tie? If you want to milk a goat, though, you're going to have to approach slowly because the moment you hold a bucket in hand, this guy will go nuts. He won't let you get nearby him. He will literally just slowly start to back away. So if you want it to work properly, you're going to have to sneak up on this goat and then you can right click in order to get your delicious, yummy, yummy milk. Now, more importantly, so sad. If you kill this guy, you'll get goat hooves that you can actually wear. And these have a really cool effect as well. Now that we've got them on, not only do you get a light armor bonus, but any nearby block can be climbed as if you were a goat using the goat hooves. All you gotta do is jump on up and you can clear some serious distances as you saw, I, as you saw right there, climbing up the side. What is this, Breath of the Wild? Yo, best game? I'm talking about Minecraft. Minecraft is the best game. Breath of the Wild, it is a close sec. 1.17 mob number four is the Pikas, which is a mountain dwelling creature. They're small little things that reside in the mountains. They love wheat and flowers and will gather them all together in order to get yourself a special new item. <gasps> Look at him! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy! Oh, he's adorable! Hold on a second! Oh, he sounds hideous, actually. Now again, these mobs are attracted to all sorts of things, whether it is flowers, wheat, seeds, I mean, the list goes on, but here's the really cool thing about it. As they continue to acquire these lovely little flowers, once they get five of them, a very special effect will occur indeed. Look, oh, he's the cutest. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. On acquiring that fifth flower, the Pika will actually burrow into the ground and will have a very unique effect that occurs. Hey man, you were supposed to burrow in the ground. Embarrassing me, worst guy. Appears to be holding them with his magical back. I'm not gonna ask too many questions, but you just saw that the Pika actually burrowed underground temporarily. Get out of my way. I I got it big. <laughs> and just like that, you can see it's left us a lovely bale of hay because apparently that's what Pikas do. Now, you could also do something very interesting with the Pikas in leaving them iron, although I don't necessarily know if that is the best suggestion for you guys to take part in because if you give them too much iron, well... Right. Our next mob is the Golden Eagle. Yes, a rare bird of prey. They're great hunters that will fly down and even kill nearby sheep. Here's one in action. Look at them, yo, majestic alert. One sec. Believe it or not, you can actually tame these creatures and use them as your pets, which I recommend. On their own, they're prone to attacking nearby innocent creatures. You'll be able to see him swoop down in a hot minute here and go for the gold. Get on those sheep, baby. He's, uh, <laughs> he doesn't have the best vision, apparently, which is ironic, given what the sheep drops. But as I said, you can actually tame this guy by using bones on it, because apparently it loves bones for some reason. But now he's mine, and now I almost fell into the liquid nitrogen. Any mob you attack will be prone to the sheep going for it as well. Look at that. Yo, dive bomb action. Too good. Now, if you happen to kill your very own pet golden I mean, eagle, you'll get something known as the eagle eye. Don't blink, because if you do, you'll miss this. The moment you wear the eagle eye, all nearby mobs will instantly be highlighted and illuminated, including ones found underneath. Dependent on the color of the mob, you will be able to get an idea of what the mob in question is. We see a whole mess of creepers, skeletons, endermen, spiders, zombies, all just hanging out below us. It's kind of cool, to be honest. You can even see other golden eagles nearby. I Jeez. Worst. Ah, uh -huh. I'm gonna get my hands on another one of these. Not only that though, but when wearing an eagle eye and equipping a bow, you will have extra, well, that looks cool by the way, extra vision. You'll see here that we actually get an instantaneous zoom in so that we've got a better grip of nearby mobs. And uh, <laughs> kill them, easier. Mountain mob number six is the caribou. These peaceful animals don't want any trouble. And they're also quite cute. What do you mean, what? I'm just complimenting you, man. Now, you can actually lead these guys around if you happen to have a lead handy, and they are quite useful indeed, but not in the way you might expect. Once you lead over one of these caribous to some nearby seeds, the whole idea here is that from time to time, you will see green particles go off nearby the feet of the caribou. That's because they're going poo. And as you can see here, it is causing... <laughs> the worst thing to say it is causing the nearby plants and seeds to more quickly grow because the droppings of the caribou act as a sort of fertilizer for all of your nearby plants wow so nice i love poop 
So if you're a farmer worth your green thumb, you'll want to get your hands on some of these herds of caribou and keep them nearby all of your different crops. In addition, after enough idle time with the caribou, he'll actually shed his antlers, which you can use, as you can see right here, as a special worn item. Ooh, hold on a second. What am I? <laughs> the coolest? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I look hideous. Now, they can either be used for decorative purposes by placing them in an item frame, or as I said, you can wear them for cosmetic reasons. Yo, I hear chicks dig huge horns. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, 1.17 mob number seven is the snow leopard. They're silent hunters typically found in the mountains. In the mountains. Well, look at him. He's scary, actually. Don't, don't look at him too close. Feeding leopards bone scraps will actually allow you to tame them as well. Allow me to demonstrate. Come on. Oh, he didn't want these bone scraps. Anyways, go ahead. He loves me. Look at him. We can push him around. He'll actually sit in play, and he'll follow you around if you take him out of his sitting animation. Uh, prone to idling here and there as well. Now, worth noting, the snow leopard will defend you at all costs. Come on over, baby. And it actually stands a pretty decent chance at taking out nearby mobs. Because as you can see here, he's got some serious speed as well as strength. Even against the Zoglin, which are normally extremely difficult to kill for any mob, this guy actually stands a chance. You can see them going at it right now. Normally, Zoglins win any mob battle. But in this case, the snow leopard... Yo, he just took him to town. Yo, best day of my life. Go ahead. Get at it. Yeah. You can even use it to get an iron golem put in his place. Well, I guess the iron golem helped in this case. But either way, get him, leopard. Yes. Beautiful. Now, the snow leopard in question here has ultimate allegiance to you once you have fed him some bones. Like, seriously, look at the damage output. I Oh, boy. Oh, well. Can we? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna kill him in the in the meanwhile? Can we? Can we? It's some kind of I don't know. Vindicate me, please! I gotta wait for this death message. To, oh, naturally, <laughs> worst. Well, I think he's over there getting the job done. Maybe. Gotta go pick up all my. Oh, whoa! Mysterious death. Ah, must have been the poison from the snow leopard bite. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The final mob here are the mountain dwellers, number eight. Now, these are shadowy creatures that dwell in mountain biomes. Don't mind while I grab a couple supplies to take this guy on, because it is, in fact, a hostile creature. You'll notice that it has a series of smoky particles all around it, and all you can make out with it are its two hollow eyes, red eyes, in fact. Now, if you let this guy attack you, you'll be blinded instantly which is just really unfortunate no one likes that to be perfectly honest with you i ain't. now if you do enough damage or leave them to their own devices they'll from time to time split into two single eyed creatures upon killing them you'll get a special item it's known as the potion of observation and you can drink this potion of observation to turn into one of these shadowy creatures and it will allow you to move about the world no clipping through all of the different landscapes around you for a small amount of time about 15 seconds of instant travel wherever you want so make sure wherever it is you end up landing you've got something to catch your fall on the way down otherwise it'd be a pretty nasty fall indeed let us know which of these mobs was your favorite in the comment section below and hey if you haven't seen our eight new nether mob concept as well you can check that one out in the meantime thanks so much for watching